Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, I want to take a look at John Clute and Peter Nichols, the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. Some people might define science fiction as something that you know when you see it. It's obvious to us. Others look for a definition. You can see that in my previous video. Today, we're going to talk about how people see it as a group of tropes or themes. So I've set up my phone as a document camera here, and we're going to take a look at The Encyclopedia of Science Fiction by John Clute and Peter Nichols. In another previous video, I also took people through the Science Fiction Illustrated Encyclopedia by John Clute. I'll put a link to the videos for what is science fiction and also for the review of the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. But today I want to take a look at The Encyclopedia of Science Fiction by John Clute and Peter Nichols. My copy used to be a reference copy for a library, so I cannot take it from this room. Here's our table of contents. We have an introduction, contents of this book, checklist of contributors, acknowledgements, checklist of themes, that's where we're going to land today, how to use this book, and checklist of abbreviations. And then, the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction starts on page one. By the way, note here, this is from 1993. Since 1993, they haven't republished this encyclopedia. It is now online. You can find it here. So page one, all the way through to the end of Zed's, I'm Canadian, on page 1370. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, by the way, the library was the Burlingame Public Library. I'm very happy that this went out of circulation for them. So here we have an introduction, it talks about the first edition. This is the second edition of the book. Contents of this book. We have authors. Themes. That's what we're going to talk about today. Terminology. Science fiction in various countries. Films. Filmmakers. Television. Magazines. Fanzines. Comics. Illustrators. book publishers, original anthologies, awards, and then miscellaneous. And here's a checklist of all the contributors. Quite a who's who in science fiction. Acknowledgements. And here is our checklist of themes. Terminology entries can be regarded as short theme entries. Readers who cannot find a theme entry they hoped for in the list below are advised to turn to the list of terminology entries to be found in this encyclopedia in the entry Terminology. The how to use the book, checklist of abbreviations, and then we start with the entries. Let's turn to terminology.
All right, here we go. Terminology. So with this entry, we have a number of terms that you might have looked for in themes, but you will find here. Let's go back to the themes. I'll put these up as a picture on the page and I'll discuss a few of these. This checklist of themes is also duplicated in their online entries. In fact, you'll find way more entries in the present day online version. For example, if we take a look at the first three, Absurdist SF, Adam and Eve, and Aliens. Let's now look at the online version. We see Absurdist SF, academic journals between Adam and Eve and Absurdist SF. But then to get down to aliens, we have the additions of adventure, advertising, Afrofuturism, agriculture, AI, airplane boys, airship boys, airships and then finally aliens. If you look at the top, you'll see that there are now 921 entries under theme. 649 are full entries and 272 are cross references. Back to the list in the book. Let's just spend a moment looking over this list from A to G. Perhaps you're interested in Atlantis or black holes, cryonics, definitions of SF, eschatology, feminism, or genetic engineering. Let's go to the second page. Here we go from G to W. Hive minds, invasion, linguistics, Mythology, New Wave, Origin of Man, Pseudonyms, Robots, Science Fantasy, Time Paradoxes, Utopias, Virtual Reality, and War. Going back to our first page of themes, I'd like to focus on definitions of SF. Let's take a look at the entry. Starting on page 311, following the pseudonym Dear MJ for George H. Smith, we have definitions of SF. It came into general use in the 1930s, an early appearance being in Hugo Gernsback's editorial to number one of Science Wonder Stories, June 1929. However, there were earlier attempts to identify and define the genre. Gernsback first called it scientifiction. That's a tough one to say. By scientifiction, he said he meant Jules Verne, H.G. Wells, and Edgar Allan Poe type stories. Charming romance intermingled with scientific fact and prophetic vision. This theme of definitions of SF goes on to fill three pages of the encyclopedia. On the last page, it says... For a listing of many definitions, including some of those referred to but not actually quoted above, a good source is the science fiction entry in Critical Terms for Science Fiction and Fantasy, 1986, by Gary K. Wolf. And then we can see that this theme is written by B.S., J.C., and P.N. That would be Brian Stableford, John Clute, and Peter Nichols. I also want to give you an example of an entry here in this book and also how it now appears online. Let's look at an author whose work was published before 1993 and also after 1993. Let's go see Dan Simmons of Hyperion fame. Here we go. I'm just going to prop it this way so we have a better look at it. Here is the entry for Dan Simmons, born 1948. U.S. writer, for many years, a teacher of gifted children who began publishing with The River Sticks Runs Upstream for Rod Serling's The Twilight Zone magazine in 1982, and who was, for some time, best regarded as an author of tales of horror, some of which, along with SF and fantasy stories, 
were assembled in Prayers to Broken Stones, collection from 1990. We continue on, we can see that he has a column and about a half. And we can see a list of all of his works. Now let's take a look at the Science Fiction Encyclopedia. You'll find it at www.sf-encyclopedia.com. The date I was looking at this was Thursday, October 10th, 2024. We can see that Werner Vinge had passed away in March of 2024. And in February, we lost Brian Stableford and Christopher Priest. You can also see that they've reached 7 million words in the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. John Clute says, We've just gone over 7 million words, almost 10 times the length of the 1979 edition of the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction, more than five times longer than in 1993. That's the edition right up here. They do now have 20,000 entries and a quarter of a million internal hyperlinks. Let's take a look now at Dan Simmons' entry. The first sentence reads exactly like the 1993 edition. But if we scroll down, we can see that the Hyperion Cantos part of the entry has been reworked and is quite lengthy. This represents what a landmark work it was in the genre. We can also see new entries for new books, including Flashback from 2011. One of my viewers, Joe Brooks, actually gave me that book, and I do want to review it soon. So if science fiction is made up of a group of themes, I don't think you can get any more thorough than John Clute and Peter Nichols have. I find it a lot of fun to just page through either versions of the encyclopedia and look for interesting themes and ideas and books that I haven't experienced. These books are an amazing service to the study of the genre of science fiction. The 1993 of the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction and also the online version are both 10 out of 10. Highly, highly recommended. What are some of your favorite themes in science fiction? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep researching and keep reading.